I mean, I've had this inspiration for a while, but I forgot. Then the Holy Spirit brought it back last night. I mean, earlier this morning. It's like, so you know how God is light, right? When you give your life to Jesus, you accept him. When people look at you, the light that they see in you, or rather the star, the people say, your star. I see a star. I see this girl with this luck, with this destiny that is so bright. It's actually God in you. I'm telling you to people who have given their lives to Christ, all right? God is light. And light in you, you will shine. And you will shine so bright that the whole world will notice your light. If God is in me, can the enemy who's created by God actually steal that light or rather steal that bright destiny in me impossible <laughs> impossible so there's no way a creature can steal a creator you know so there's absolutely no way someone can steal your glory steal your destiny steal the star in you all right, because that star is called Jesus, it's called God, because God is light. But now there's a confusion there. The confusion comes when you don't know who you are. Okay, when you don't know who you are, you intend to believe what people say. No, they've stolen this. Nobody can steal, nobody can take God out of you. Now that I'm even thinking about it, you don't even have to believe in God. The fact that you're already created, all right? So God is already in you, all right? But now there's a difference, right? So I will try to explain both. So as a Christian or a believer of Christ, the light is already there and it will shine because God is active. You have accepted him. Now to the one who has not yet accepted God, God is there, but the light is covered. Okay, so when the light is covered, you are obviously confused because that light being bright in you will clarify your purpose. Now, because it's covered by darkness, you are confused. You don't know what to do with your life. Now, to you who has believed in Christ, um, your light is already shining. You cannot take God out of you okay but you can make yourself worthy for the holy spirit to remain by always submitting to the blood of jesus christ so when you're praying you repent and you ask for the blood of jesus that blood of jesus will always keep you worthy so whenever there was any dust any attack any spiritual warfare whatever it is the blood of jesus is there to clean you so that your light will shine but that doesn't necessarily mean that your light was not there you get it so it's like the enemy is playing with us or playing with those whom he's playing with because he's not playing with me he's playing with those whom he's playing with because they don't know who they are beloved if god is the king of king and he's living in you what does that make you royalty god has separated himself with the devil with the enemy all right that means that that creature and god there's there's no communication there's no connection now when you submit to him you you are leaving your throne you are leaving your your oh my god you are leaving your home to go to become homeless for what you are royalty know who you are right now and act accordingly submit to nothing and no one other than God.